You think that your family is growing spiritually healthy, but when you bring all these pollutants into your house, called whatever music from Madonna or whatever rap or rock and roll or whatever rubbish that keeps coming in. So you think that your family is growing, but literally you are literally stunting their growth. So zakah itself means to grow. So if you want your family to grow, if you're going to have families, I talked about marriage today in the Jum'ah. One guy, they don't know that I know Urdu, so there it goes. Anyway. <laughs> Any mukhabarat here, you know, be careful. <laughs> so the guy's walking by and saying, you know, in Urdu he said, Oh, the guy, the speaker just said, you have to get married right now. And I'm just standing right there, he thinks they cannot hear it. You know, you gotta get married. And he said, the girl saying, no, 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 you're out of your mind. Da, 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 da. I just want to grab him and just go, <laughs> That's a good type one I want to give him because, uh, you know, in order to, if you take the thing right out of context, you will never get into context again. What I was trying to say is that if you're coming to university, one of the things, I was talking about the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I can use the same example for zakat, to grow. In order for you to grow properly, you cannot be a, a free bachelor all the time with sisters, you know. She's my friend. I don't believe that. Don't give me this, uh, you know, hogwash that she's your friend. There's no such thing as, we're platonic. Nonsense, it's nothing, nothing like that. And sisters, be very careful of the brothers who try to be overly friendly. They're using the snakes. They don't, don't, don't trust them at all. They're nice, they're well-meaning, but they just, you know, because it's the human desire. So if you want to grow, that's what I said. You want to grow, you have to actually literally find your mate, pressure your mother and father to get married. That's the only solution. I don't know why Muslims have to look outside the bound. Who, my, my, my daughter is in so and so problem. My son has a girlfriend. Well, you didn't let them get married. What do you expect in this culture? So there needs to be a new solution. If I had my way, I would marry all of you off that is not married tonight. <laughs> Get the miracle gift, uh, just one nikah after the next, 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 next. Because I think, I think that's the only solution that's there. It is not extreme, it is just solution to the problem that we're facing on a serious side. I have emails that says one sister is pregnant, what do I do? I have emails, my daughter is pregnant, should we have abortion? The guy said, well, you know, the, the, the lady I wanted to marry, we you know, we fell in love and then something happened and this is what shaitan keeps coming. So why wait and keep dragging it because you'll become familiar. Your intentions may be good to meet the brother and the brother's intention may be good for the sister. But at the same time, don't think that you're going to just stay there in the lovey-dovey. It'll increase to something else. So we want to, as Muslims deal with reality. So what do we do there? So the problem that we need to actually grow in order to solve the situation at hand. You want to solve it? Yes, it's good for you to find a mate, see if you have compatibility, you know. They say, okay, inshallah, we're going to Pakistan to find a girl for you. You rascal, you were no good to begin with over here. What makes you think you're going to get a poor lady from Pakistan and then punish her and bring her here? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I think that's a big crime on the mothers and fathers to take that. I'm going back home to get married. You were no good here. <laughs> so you're just going to go and deceive other people that are on the other side. And that's a very big crime that they're doing. Trying to deceive people thinking, you know, they paint their sons to be something else. And there's huge problems. I have all the emails. I have contact with sisters and so on and so forth. They're finding a huge problem. Sister has to get married from somebody back home. She has, she can't even speak the language. She cannot communicate with him. He becomes a devilish human being because they don't know his background. So why not actually live and make a healthy, healthy and a pure environment in society by really just tying the knots? They should be next time, Alhamdulillah, everyone just getting married. Just get married. You beg for your cars and your foolish little things. So beg to get married, inshallah. <laughs>